Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome to my channel This weekend, I'm going to share with you one of the most ancient recipe among Indonesian food This recipe is called nasi gudeg. It's rice, it with jackfruit stew. It's made from uh, young jackfruit or green jackfruit, uh, stew with the coconut milk and some local spice such as coriander, kettle nut, uh, brown sugar, uh, chili, um, salt. Um, if you want, you can put uh, also chili and of course garlic and some onions. And for the complete recipe, you can check on the description box below. This is our family favorite recipe, especially my mother make it really well. And I learned it from my mom and uh, this recipe uh, it's already available since 1700 or 1800 years so it's really ancient recipe so first of all you wash the um, jackfruit and then you uh, put in the small cook and put in the pan uh, and cover it with water. You put uh, enough water to cover uh, all over this uh, jackfruit and put all the, un the other ingredients. And same as other ingredients, all the nuts, for example, like coriander seed, uh, kettle nut, um, onion, garlic, um, and chili if you want, you can uh, blend it uh, this time I'm using the tra traditional way by using the stone pestle but you can also use a, a food processor or blender it is not difficult to make this recipe but one important point is to make the jackfruit to soft and tender first before uh, you put the other ingredient Actually, you can boil the uh, jackfruit with enough water uh, until all the water cover all the jackfruit and then you can put uh, the other grounded ingredient like kettle nut, coriander, onion and etc. and also all the like ginger, bay leaf, uh, lemongrass but uh, put just a little bit of coconut and um, the rest of the coconut uh, milk you have to put it uh, later by the time the uh, jackfruit soft if the jackfruit is not soft it cannot absorb the savory of the coconut milk and also the sweetness of the brown sugar actually this is uh, slow cooking uh, it takes I think minimum three hour or four hour or even like 24 hours but please don't take it seriously to cook it non-stop for me because I'm working from home usually like I prepare it in the morning and then I put it on the stove uh, put on the medium heat and I just check from time to time if if the jackfruit is uh, already soft or not or if there is any any other ingredient that need to be added so uh, this is completely not to be in a hurry uh, cooking so you have to prepare everything in advance and you can cook it slowly cook slowly is like if for example like this time when you start you just have enough time to cook one or two hours then stop it's okay you stop and then you continue again this heat uh, other time when you are not far from the stove other ingredient that usually we use to make this delicious uh, gudeg is thick leaf Thick leaf is an agent to make the brown color 
for the gudeg and it's also give a good flavor and also one of the uh, ingredient that can make the gudeg last long I didn't have a um, thick leaf uh, on the beginning of the process of this cooking so I just pick up the leaf uh, just today so that's why I move uh, the the gudeg to this uh, thick leaf then I boil it again uh, you know in my gudeg actually I add other ingredients for example like egg I ate some chicken, I ate some tofu as well uh, in all everything in the mixture of the gudeg and then I reboiled everything I wrap with the stick leaf and then I continue boiling until it's completely soft and the color will be dark brown and the purpose of this stick leaf also to make a uh, uh, the the contour of the egg is become harder, and it's also it's also to preserve it to long to for long lasting um, egg or this good up. And I also prepare the rice, and by chance I only have some stock of uh, rice with some uh, seeds, and I also start to to put uh, additional ingredient is a uh, crispy beef skin in the mixture of the gudeg and my apartment room smells so good it's very good uh, fragrant and aromatic of all the ingredient of the gudeg you know uh, can you imagine the mixture between coconut milk lemongrass and other ingredient it uh, smells so sweet I also put some cinnamon in the mixture of the gudeg and I also make sambal because my sambal is very special it's mixture between uh, chili, um, onion, um, garlic and some tomato I also put some sugar so everything smells so good Now um, the gudeg is already okay to eat and actually this one is we call it like wet gudeg because I still have some liquid uh, like some soup in the stew uh, then I start to arrange on the serving tray this time I'm using traditional uh, bamboo tray and I put the uh, thick leaf as the base uh, so that I will feel like it's like in Indonesia using a traditional uh, usually we use a banana leaf but I don't have banana leaf but uh, I have this beautiful thick leaf and try to decorate everything here and if we are in Indonesia, usually uh, the gudeg seller put the gudeg in the clay pot, usually a big one. But this time I, all, I, I only have the small one. Oh, the gudeg that I made today is really, really delicious. It's exactly the same taste like my mom made. Uh, thanks to my mom for this beautiful recipe and I try to make this video so that I can keep it for myself and also I can share with my other cousin, uh, people who are interested to make this delicious recipe from Central Java, Nasi Gudeg. Nasi gudeg is really like the menu of not only the Sultan of Yogyakarta but also the people, everyone who live in Jogja or Solo and in Central Java. So mainly this is the food for everyone. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give your support by give your uh, like, 
thumb, subscribe, and share. Hope to see you again in my next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.